He's got a good point. Joining me now to discuss Allison Maloney, Newsmax host and founder of Allison May PR. Also with us, Terry Schilling, president of the American Principles Project. <laughs> Ladies first, Allison, you know, <laughs> He's what, what did happen to the cocaine, I right? I don't know. The investigation ended. You know, first it was in the West Wing, then it was in a cubby, then the cameras, there were a lot of them, but they didn't see anything. A case closed. It's over with. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's asking uh, for answers. It's all done. I know I had Sebastian Gorka on once, and he he. He has an inside scoop of whose it is, and one day we'll find out. I think we will. And yes. Terry, uh, speaking of Hunter Biden's missing items in the White House, it's possible Zelensky might have found it. Take a look at this. <laughs> they don't have enough weapons to advance. They can only defend themselves. In some cases, they're losing territory. What happens to your country if this American aid doesn't arrive? We will lose a lot of people. We will lose territories. Uh, yeah, Terry, what did you think about that? It reminds me of Hunter, remember, on the balcony, yeah. who's kind of looking all shifty and stuff like that. What, what was that about? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, I think uh, Zelensky has uh, definitely been probably visiting the White House lately. <laughs> you know, like this whole thing's a total joke. Uh, it's really sad what the Bidens have done to this country. It really is. And then, uh, Allison, I want to get to uh, Gavin uh, Slick Newsom. <laughs> His hair, it just drives yeah. me nuts, right? He should be a used car salesman. Anyway, there's been a lot of talk of whether or not Biden has the immense ability to even debate President Trump. Take a listen to what he said on NBC. Trump says he's ready to debate Biden right now. Should President Biden debate? Of course he's not. I mean, he. Uh, but should President Biden debate Biden Trump in the general? Biden beat Trump in the prior debates. I look forward. I mean, this is a guy. Okay. By so the that's way, a that's yes? just pure, hundred percent. Okay. Pure projection on a guy who refused to debate in his own primary. Back to my point: weakness masquerading as strength. Does he want him to debate so he can step right in in that role? I mean, I'm actually surprised yeah, he said that yeah. he wants him to debate. Every Look, at Americans deserve to see if it is Trump, Trump and Biden debating. That is a fair playground for them. Americans deserve that. But I don't think um, I don't think Biden will debate him. And, you know, Terry, even the ladies of The View, they said that Biden shouldn't do it because Trump doesn't deserve to be heard because he'll be lying too much. What do you think about that? Listen, they want to shut down debate because they can't win these policy debates. They can't when they're actually other, the other side is present and the other arguments being made. They they look like clowns because they are clowns. But I'm not surprised that the view does not want Donald Trump to be able to talk to the American people because that's when he wins is when he can make his arguments to the American people. Real quick, before I let you guys go, what do you think of, a, of the media blackout regarding Lakin Riley, Allison? They, they haven't even been covering it, and instead they're like, oh, well, you shouldn't be jogging alone. Yeah, there was a, there was an article, I think it was by the AP earlier, mm -hmm. and it didn't even talk. The headline said nothing about this illegal migrant who came into this country and, and allegedly murdered her. Um, it's disgusting. I'm waiting for the president to say something to the family. I haven't seen anything. Um, and it's just, it's sad. I feel horrible for that family. This is what's happening, and it's going to continue to happen as long as our border is open. And Terry, what do you think about that? I mean, you know, what I think it was like almost 30 times that Joe Biden tweeted out about George Floyd. Mm -hmm. and, and what does he do about about Lincoln Riley? Nothing, nothing. Well, no, it's worse than that, Lydia. He victim blames, right? It's it's like the guy that justifies rapists by saying, well, she shouldn't have dressed that way. What are, you, what are you talking about? This was done in the middle of the day. She shouldn't have jogged alone. These are evil people and they have no shame and we need to get rid of them as soon as possible. So I'm just looking right now, and Biden did issue a statement a short time ago saying people should be held accountable. I think that person should be Joe Biden. Allison Maloney, Terry Schilling, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Lydia.